American Masters, Elia Kazan, A Letter to Elia, receives a Peabody Award, an exquisite documentary in which one American master pays tribute to another. I look at these pictures and I can see that Ilya Kazan's smile really was dazzling. And he knew it. Did he use it as a weapon, a defense? And if a defense, defense against what? Against disappointment and failure? Against fame and success and all the distractions? Against small talk, which he hated? Against rejection? Against all kinds of adversity? Accepting the Peabody Award, co-director Kent Jones. Um, Marty was uh, unable to be here today due to a prior commitment, and uh, he, he regrets that and uh, sends his best wishes and uh, thanks for the award. Um, he and I have both been very heartened by the response to this film, which uh, about a very difficult and challenging subject, which evolved quite a bit over time. And there's no way that we could have arrived at what became the final form without Rachel Reichman, who's standing here with me. She's our editor and co-producer and a wonderful artist. And it was very important to me that she be here with me today. Um, I want to thank Emma tillinger Koskoff, Diane Collier, Lindsay Rothenberg, Leslie Stiefelman, and Scott Lehrer, who produced the music, Riley Steele at Sound One, our mixer, uh, Mark Raker, our DP, uh, our friends at C5 and Deluxe, Jim Janopoulos and Sean Belston at Fox, Stone Douglas and Taylor, Taylor Matern, and Mark Ankner, who came and bailed us out at the last minute. Um, I want to say a very, very special thanks to Susan Lacey um, and her team at American Masters, to Prue and to Julie Sachs. I also want to say thank you to PBS and WNET. Um, thanks to a great friend, Francis Kazan, Ilya Kazan's widow. And I also want to acknowledge the help of someone who actually helped us with clips on this film who just passed away named Don Krim. He's a giant in New York film, and uh, he'll be sorely missed. I also want to thank the Peabody Board and UGA. Thank you very, very much for this award.